Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my recommendations for the upcoming Sephora VIB Rouge and Beauty Insider sale. This sale is their spring version of what happens usually in November and this one begins April 17th and runs through May 1st. Now depending on what your status is, what your reward status is, determines whether you get 20% off, 15% off, or 10% off and it also determines what dates things will be on sale for you. So I will list that information down in the description box below as well as links to all of the products that I talk about here. Now right before we jump into this list of products, if you are new here, a special welcome to you. I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button. As I was thinking about this video, I was a bit overwhelmed when I thought about all of the amazing products that Sephora has to offer. And I know that many of you feel that way. And so that's why you're looking to YouTube and people like me for guidance. And I was wondering how I wanted to approach my recommendations because I know everybody does these differently. So as I was pulling these products out and trying to kind of get an overview of what I pulled out and why, I would say in looking at most of these products, they are products that I use regularly in my videos. So if you've watched five of my makeup tutorials, you've probably seen a number of these products appear over and over. But there are also products that I just think are so good and might only be available at Sephora. So now is the time to snag those. You're also going to see me share with you a couple of items that are on my personal wish list. So now let's just go ahead and dive right in. And I have a number of products to share with you, so I'm gonna go through these quickly. I'm gonna kind of group these together in categories. So we're gonna start with the eyes first. And for eyeshadow primers, I have two that I would highly recommend. This is the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Eyeshadow Primer. And then the NARS um, Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I have the tinted version, and quite honestly, I'm not in love with it. I think the original, the non-tented version is better. I think it does a better job of holding. This is still decent. So if you don't have super oily lids, you might try one of the tinted versions. As far as mascaras go, there's only one. You know it, It Cosmetic Superhero. And then let's not forget my favorite eyelash curler. This is the Tweezerman eyelash curler. It is for round eyes, so you just want to um, search that, and this is so worth your money. For eyeliners, my absolute favorite, and it's only available at Sephora unless you buy it from Kat Von D directly, and it is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liquid Liner in Mad Max Brown. This is the best dark brown liquid liner out there. It has a very soft brush tip that continues to say to stay super pointed it doesn't fray on the end and the best feature of all and you know it has a ball in there which helps you get every last drop of that out for eyeliners no surprise the urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencils specifically i'm going to recommend two colors demolition which is a black brown I love this because it is deep enough to where it almost looks black, but it's not nearly as harsh. So, and it is a matte liner. And then if you want something that has a little bit of a shimmer um, and just is a little lighter brown, I have really been loving the shade Double Life. It's a part of the Born to Run collection. So this is a beautiful shade. I'll show you that on the back of my hand. So this one just has a little bit of shimmer, but I love this, especially on my lower lash line. And then Demolition is just such a wonderful color. And these are smooth and stay put. For eyeshadow palettes, I mean, I kid you not, I could recommend 1520 to you. But I tried to just pull it back and I pulled out just three. So the first one has been around for quite a while and it is one of my absolute favorites. I've just pulled it back out again for spring and summer and it's only available at Sephora and it's the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes version. Now you do have to like warm colors 
but this is a wonderful palette and I am not one to do many all matte looks, but I've done several all matte looks with this palette. I love it, but it's just as easy to pull in a shimmer shade to put on the lid. These blend beautifully and I just, I really feel like there is quite a lot of versatility with this palette. So it's one of my all time favorites, had to recommend it. And then two more that are newer. So this one came out towards the end of the year and this is the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette. I also have the deep one and I like that too, but especially for spring and summer, I think this color story is just beautiful and you can get whole complete looks from just this palette. So it will be great once we're all able to travel again. You can throw this in and travel with it. So, and I just, again, I think this is a great, great quality palette and you can get some really nice looks with it. Now the third one that I'm recommending, I haven't even done a tutorial for you guys yet on, but I have been loving this and I think this is a great neutral palette that is so easy to use and it's the Too Faced Born This Way palette. Um, this is the Natural Nudes Complexion Inspired Eyeshadow Palette and this has an equal amount of mattes and shimmers and I don't know, I really like this formula. There's maybe one or two of the shimmers that are a little kind of chunky, but they do come together. You can use them with a wet brush, but these mattes are even softer and more buttery than any of the Too Faced formulas, and I think I have just about all of their palettes. So I actually have loved this palette a lot more than I thought that I would. Now, just in case you're in, for, in the market for something fun and want kind of a foiled sparkly shadow to top other shadows or just to add to your lid, there are two by the brand Touch and Soul and I have just loved these. There are several companies that have come out with all different kinds of pressed pigments and everything and I feel like these are some of the best. So I have two shades of these. This one is Cream Peach and I actually have a little bit of this on my lid right now but you can just see, I mean, how much sparkle and shine is there and that is with this dry so I have not even used a wet brush with it and then this shade which is called Persian Rose this was the first one that I bought and I just it was one of those that I literally gasped when I swatched it in the store I was like oh my word that is so beautiful and I mean there is glitter in it but it just kind of meshes well together it's a very similar kind of formulation like the MAC pigments are, but it is kind of pressed here, so it's not as messy as your typical loose pigments are, but I just think those are beautiful. So again, these are the metalist pigments from Touch and Soul. Okay, so what's on my personal wish list for the eyes? Um, one is the new Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. I think that might be part of my husband's gift to me for my birthday, which is coming up in June. So I will pop in pictures of each of these items that are on my wish list. So that is on the list, as well as this double-ended eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. I have not tried any of her eyeliners yet, and this one just looks like my kind of color combination. So kind of eyeing that myself. Also, one of my subscribers told me one of her favorite purple eyeliner pencils is this one by Makeup Forever. So I also put that one in my cart. And then there are two of the Sephora, they're called Eye Stories Eyeshadow Palettes. And these are only $10 normal price. So with 20% off, they're gonna be eight bucks. I've seen some really good reviews on them. So I might be checking these out as well. All right, let's move on to some face recommendations. So some boring things, but necessary things are concealers, right? So two that I continue to go back to, this is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer longest name ever and this is a huge bottle so this is a real good time to give that one a try 
or the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. This also is another one of my favorites and go-tos. Um, as far as foundations go, there are several from Sephora that I use and I rotate foundations depending on the seasons and all of that. But going into the summer, I've picked out four. <laughs> okay, two are full coverage and I feel like are really good for those of us who are combination skin, combo, oily. The one is, and this one's only available at Sephora, it is the Peach Perfect Foundation. I have loved this and used this for a couple of years. This is the Comfort Matte Foundation. It gives you more of like a natural matte finish, but it does stay really well on the skin. And the second is my other favorite, and it might have actually kind of bumped out the Peach Perfect Foundation this last year for me, and that's the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Liquid Foundation. Again, another one that is super long wearing, and I do not need to use a primer with either of these for them to perform well for me. Now the other two foundations I picked are lighter weight in texture and slightly lighter in coverage. Um, the first one's super light in coverage and this one's newer to me in the last several months. It would be a splurge purchase, but now is the time if you've ever wanted to try this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. I have to be honest, I did not expect to love this and I actually love it. It is a very light coverage, but it's water-based and it does stay well. It does just make the skin look really beautiful. And I have used this in a tutorial and I just, it's a really nice one, but just know it's lightweight, not only in feel, but also in coverage. So if that's something you're looking for. And then the second one, this one has more coverage, but also still really lightweight. This is newer also to me and it's the Estee Lauder Futurist Foundation. This has been a big surprise to me. It's actually what I've got on my skin today. And I've really enjoyed using this either um, with my fingers blended in, I get a little more coverage, or with my beauty blender, kind of gives you more of a lighter coverage, but it looks really nice on the skin and I think will be a great one as we go into summer months. For powders, there are two that you see me use over and over. <laughs> the one is Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Powder. Again, only available at Sephora. This is my second jar of this that I've purchased. And I mean, you get a ton of product and I'm almost out of this one. So this might be on my list to repurchase. And then this one I have also repurchased multiple times. This is the Becca Hydra Mist um, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. There we go. I love this, especially for retouching throughout the day. So if my face is getting shiny, this is actually my go-to kind of touch-up powder. I know it's loose, it's messy to take on the go, but it's great at home if you need to retouch. So um, this one is available at Ulta as well, but worth mentioning because I do repurchase that a lot. Now let's move on to something a little more fun. Let's talk about highlighter, bronzer, and blush, right? Okay, so for highlighters, there's two that I'm really going to highly recommend. Uh, one is the Laura Mercier. This is just a baby size. This is not the full size. This is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder Highlight 01, and you have used, seen me use this a lot. If you are a mature skin type, this is the highlighter for you. There is absolutely no glitter. There's no shimmer. It just gives your skin a beautiful, healthy glow. And it is a super soft texture. It's expensive, I know, but in the full size, you do get a ton of product. And I think it will last you a really long time. The second one is one that I absolutely love from Tarte, and I don't hear anybody talk about this. This is the shade Stunner, and these are super soft texture as well. These are their Amazonian clay um, uh, formulation, and so they're super smooth, a lot more, I mean, you can tell, this is the metallic highlight this is the natural skin glow. So if you like a metallic highlight, I would highly recommend. And I also have another shade in this, but Stunner to me is the more kind of universal shade. It has a tiny little bit of gold, but 
um, it's a little more on the champagne leaning than their others that they have. Now the third highlight that I have to show you is this one from Benefit and it is the shade called Cookie. Now this is another just super metallic formula, but the main reason why I want to show you this is because they have this in a bigger palette form from Benefit and I'll pop it up on the screen and it comes with a couple of my favorite products from Hoola and a couple that I would actually like to try. So it comes in this palette also with the Hoola bronzer. Now this is just a little baby mini size, the Hoola bronzer, the Dallas blush, which is another really good neutral shade, and then Sugar Bomb and Georgia. But Hoola is a beautiful, just neutral bronzer shade. It's matte. They do offer Hoola in light and deep, but not in that palette. So, but if you're in the mar market for a bronzer and a highlighter, you might as well get that whole kit because those are full size products in that kit. Now continuing on with blushes, um, I'm just gonna talk about a couple. Let's see, one from Bare Minerals. Um, this is another shade in particular that you've seen me use, but I love their Gen Nude blushes. Sephora only has a few shades, but this one in particular I'm recommending because it's one of those really nice um, neutral shades. This is beige for days, but it's a really good color of nude blush if you're looking for kind of more of a neutral blush tone color and you have kind of warm or peach undertones in your skin. Now, if you have cooler undertones in your skin, you're gonna love the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes, especially Exposed would be great for you, but I also have a couple of others. One shade, which is this one, it's Party. I have lots of A's in there. Um, and this is a shade exclusive to Sephora. So I personally love this shade. It was a, this one size was a freebie and a birthday gift one year. And I have really enjoyed it. Now, Tarte blushes, I don't even want to swatch these for you because they do not swatch well at all. But there's some magic that goes on, that happens when you put them on your cheeks. But this is a really good nude pink shade. And then a couple of my others are favorites are, this is Risqué, which has a little more peachy nude tones and Seduce which has a little more rosy tones. So those side by side, they're so similar. Uh, I think I ordered them online and got them in and thought, wow, are, is there any difference? There is a difference on your skin. But um, again, this is Seduce and then this is Risqué. Now two face palettes that you, you've seen me use often are this one, first one from Smashbox. This is the Cali Contour Palette. And I just think this is a great basic palette. This is a wonderful contour shade, a great light bronzer. I will mix the two of these together. These two highlights are really nice and soft. They're, they're not blinding highlights. They really, they don't have any chunky glitter in them. And then it's really nice to have kind of a um, matte highlighting shade. So if you get a little carried away with your bronzer or contour, you can erase it. And then this is a really nice neutral blush as well. It's just kind of a nice um, neutral coral shade that I think works whatever your skin tone, if you're a lighter skin tone. If you're deep skin tone, they did do a deeper version of this, but I don't think Sephora carries it. Now the other face palette. I'm sure if I gave you multiple choice options, you would pick this one out as one that I love. And again, it is a Sephora exclusive. This is the Sugar Peach Wet and Dry Eye and Face Palette. You've seen me use this multiple times. I just love it. And something I forgot to mention with all of the peach products from Too Faced, they do have a scent. They smell like peaches. So, um, but this highlighter, this really nice, soft, shimmery bronze shade, and then this glowy blush and this coral. This looks like it's got some um, kind of glitter particles through it, but those really don't transfer to your face. So I have just 
really enjoyed this palette. I pull this out if I'm lost and don't know what cheek color to use. I'll mix several of those together and I have a magical glowing cheek. All right, on to lips. Now this is the second hardest thing for me to narrow down because my, my makeup collection is mostly eyeshadow and lip products. Okay. So a couple of things that I would say are essential for me and that I use all the time are lip liners. Now I do love the NYX lip liners. So if you don't have the budget to spend $15 on a lip liner, then go with the NYX ones, it's okay. But if you are wanting to splurge, if you have a really hard time with lipsticks, uh, bleeding past your lip line, there are three that are just completely, like they stay on so well. The first one is Urban Decay. And you know I love this. And this is actually the cheaper of the three that I'm gonna show you. So I, in particular, love Liar and 1993. So this is Liar, which is a little bit, has a little more of a dusty mauve undertone. And then this is 1993, which is what I love to wear with kind of more warm nudes. So those are the two from Urban Decay. The second would be, um, I would say it's a toss up between Lancome and Charlotte Tilbury. Lancome, their lip liners are, I mean, if I leave these on to dry, they're gonna be just as hard, I think, to get off as the Charlotte Tilbury. But both of those are almost nearly impossible to remove. They just have to wear away. So if you have a hard time with lip liners just fading away, these will not. Okay, so um, I have two shades from Lancome. I would say Ideal New, or Ideal is my favorite. That's the darker of the two. But this other one is pretty too. It's Natural Mauve. That's the lighter one. So, um, and you get quite a bit of product. I've had these for a long time. They, they are a pretty long pencil to start. But then the Charlotte Tilbury, the reason why I've put these in, not only do they last amazingly well, but she does have some really unique shades. So um, Iconic Nude, that was the first one that I purchased. Um, that is this one right here. It's a real cool toned, uh, nude brown shade which is hard to find most nudes either are too pale to show up or they go very warm tone and then this one which is new in her lineup and it's pillow talk to medium this just has a beautiful a beautiful pink undertone pairs so nicely but I did come up with a dupe for it um, which I'll share later in another dupes video, but it's pairing two NYX lip liners together. So, but again, the formulation of the Charlotte Tilbury um, lip liners are to me what make them worth a little higher price tag than the NYX. Now this other lip liner is only at Sephora because it's from the Sephora collection. I do love the Sephora collection lip liners, but you do have to be careful of them bleeding. So you do need to use, like I use the MAC paint pot around the edge of my lips to keep them from bleeding. But if you do that, this shade in particular, you've seen me use a number of times, it is Bellflower and it's the Sephora collection and I'll show you my favorite combination, but it is this lavender, a purpley lavender, almost lilac shade. And trust me, I have tried to find a dupe for this color and I have yet to find it, either in a lipstick or in a lip liner. So it is so unique. And again, it's called Bellflower, but my favorite way to wear it is paired with another item that's only at Sephora. And this is the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in the shade Angelic. And again, another product that I know you have seen me put on a time or two. And I love pairing this with that purple. And so this is like a golden pink um, metallic and it's just it's a really nice formula it's not super sticky but I don't know it just creates such a really pretty I mean look at those two combined such a pretty lip combination 
Of course, it's always fun if you wanted to splurge to get a beautifully packaged YSL lip product like this, um, but you know, these do come at a pretty high price tag, but they are really beautiful. Now, the lip products that are on my wish list are these right here. This is a set of the Pat McGrath lip glosses and these are a limited edition color set of three. I had swatched one of these colors in the store a couple months ago and was just in awe of the sparkle and the shine. So I've not tried any of their form of her formulas, but I'm kind of interested to try them. So we'll see if I actually make that purchase. So a couple of other items that are on my list are actually hair products, several that you guys have recommended to me. So I am going to be hopefully testing out some new products, new hair products soon for you and letting you know my thoughts. But that rounds out my collection of Sephora VIB sale recommendations for you. I hope that that was helpful. And again, this is not by any stretch of the imagination the only products that I love at Sephora. I love so many, but I feel like these are products that if you purchased them, you would be actually really satisfied. Now that brings me to a final point, and that is to tell you that Sephora is extending their return policy because of everything that's going on. If you buy things online, you're gonna get extra time to return them once stores reopen. So that's just something to keep in mind. I know ordering online can be a little scary. It's a little tricky to find your correct foundation shade. So if you're a little concerned about that, just know that Sephora is going to extend their return period. So that might alleviate a few concerns you might have about ordering during this sale. All right, so that wraps up this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. Have fun shopping and I'll see you next time. Bye.